Get in, get in the ship. Get in the ship. I, I need to get our tethers. It's like no, 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 no. Leave the tethers. It's the, like the in the movies. The tethers are not worth it, Todd. The tethers are not worth it. All right. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, it's Astroneer. Wait, Chuck and Todd. This yeah, this this video is gonna be uh, out on the twenty sixth. Um, this so. late. Well, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Tell Happy New. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. There, that's... <laughs> no one's offended by that, hopefully. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so, I'm... I, I Last time, I was in a tunnel... Or, I was in the cave, hopelessly lost, so I just decided to build a tunnel going up until I uh, made it to the surface, which I did. I don't know how far I am from base. I guess I'll find out. I, I need to widen this tunnel oh, a little bit so my rover can get through. But um, after that, I'll the hell? try to rejoin you. But Chuck, you built a... a what did you do? You built a medium generator back at base? Yeah, so um, we, have all this, we have all this organic from you know the mushrooms. So it was like, you know, why not just build why a generator that uses it? it? So... I Which we some. never did before because we thought like, you know, oh, it requires resources and it's annoying. Is it, is it like a good like how long does a it, it takes carbon right? So like how long does one unit of carbon last? Uh, it seems about a uh, sixty about a minute or two. Okay, but it doesn't like instantly like use it up. No. Which was my concern with it. I mean, right. it's still pretty good. I mean, like, honestly, like, we use so much power, especially with this research chamber, that, like, we kind of, like, yeah. it's, it's definitely appreciated. Even with two batteries, uh, it seemed like we were running out of power. We should build on our batteries at some point, but... Yeah, and is, I want to build one now. back on the home base, too. Because going back on home base now and trying to do stuff is painful. Everything is so slow uh, because yep, so power intensive and we don't meet the demand very well. All right, I'm out on the surface. I don't know where base is because uh, I'm uh, sure. I'll... I don't know what to tell you. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to tell me either. Um, I'm sure it's not far. Um, I'll just kind of... Look around. Look for beacons, I guess. Here's a here's a wreckage area. Let's see if there's anything good. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, oh, look at this! This is um. I little can't. Cubes. I can't look at this. I'm not there. Huh? I'm not there. I can't look at this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't expect such uh, anger from you. <laughs> no, I'm just as guilty as you saying that. It's just. I don't know. I'm, I'm saying it all. for the benefit of the audience. So okay. So um, so what do you see, Todd? I see uh, little cubes of debris. Um, okay. Like it kind of it kind of looks like the boxes that um, uh, the boxes that like things come in before they you deploy them. Oh yeah debris. yeah. Um, so this is great kind of stuff to just throw in a scrapper. Um, Yep. Problem is, I don't really have space for it. Is there anything I don't need? Like, I don't need dyna dynamite. Um, Wait, did you have diamond? Dy dynamite. Oh, dynamite. Well... Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of pointless. Dynamite's kind of pointless in the end, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't even, like, do a good job of blowing things up. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna dick around the cave a little bit more. See if anything interesting shows up. Okay, I was thinking when I get back, maybe we could check out a new planet that we haven't been to. Yeah, actually, I'd like that. I, I like, I want to explore the moons more, but it's kind of boring. Yeah, and I like, I just spent a lot of time exploring a cave, and it's just like more of the same. You know, there, there's there's not going to be any surprises, anything new. Yeah, we could do that. Let's we could, let's get some resources. To, well, actually, if we're, this is literally visiting. Then we don't need to like build bases or anything. What's that? Oh yeah, just just visit it. I, I, just to see what. Oh it's god! Like. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! You okay? These purple things are, are sneaky. Okay, if there's a big crater here, no. 
Yeah, there's definitely. I remember seeing when we were flying. There was definitely a giant crater in the middle of the planet. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to look for is a, a landmark. Oh, um, lithium. I'm gonna find my way. I'm sure. I love how we always talk about like let's not forget beacons next time, Ooh. and we always never use beacons. Hey, guess what I found? What'd you find? I found a surface that has, um, you can't extract with the tool. Um, oh yeah? Like, you know, remember we were talking about, like, you know, there's certain things you can't, um... Like, like astronium on the Yeah, core. exactly, but, uh... It's kind of like that. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to jinx it, but I think I found, and I, I actually found a new resource. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I, I gotta get I gotta get the inhibitor mod back. I I, I took it on my bag because I was afraid to lose it. But like I think the inhibitor mod can be used to get stuff from these kind of surfaces as well. All right, I've I've found a be beacon in the distance, so I think I'm gonna find my way back here. Yeah, I, I remember I set up one beacon when I was close by. Yeah, I think that's the one I found. Yeah, if you, if you get to the beacon, yeah. should be, you should see our thing close by. My my rover is okay. There it is. I was gonna say it was flipped, but it wasn't giving the me the prompt to flip it back. Uh, all right. So the beacon was this way. There it is. I wonder what lithium's used for. I feel like it's I feel like it's important, but I don't remember why. Batteries. Oh yeah. Yeah, I I was wanting li lithium a little bit ago. So we got a, quite a bit to build a battery back in Cheetle, Cheetle Land. Cheetle Land. Cheetle <laughs> Land. <laughs> All right, this part is it. Did the beacon you left? Uh, I can't talk. The beacon you left behind was it a purple beacon? I believe it was blue. Okay. If you found a purple one, I think that might have been from something else. In other words, you're kind of, you're still kind of hosed, dude. This is, oh, this is that base you found, that big base. Yeah. Remember, with the landing pad. Yeah, you put I put a do beacon that. in the center. Okay, so good, but what direction do I go from here to get back to base? Do you remember? Not a clue. Should I review the video? I mean, <laughs> is that cheating? It's boring, but sure. Um, let me get on top of this mountain and maybe I can see. Yeah, actually it's just more lithium, that's unfortunate. Oh, I mean, okay, cool. no need, I found, I found another beacon. So, I must be going in the right direction. I mean, it's still pretty cool we found these unminable surfaces. But... Yeah, I wonder what it means. Like, what, what that implies. Like, what, what are they, why are they there? Is it like a placeholder for something more interesting that's going to be in the full release? Maybe. Or uh, if it, maybe it's just a like bedrock and you can't mine it. No, you definitely can't. You get to use the drill. Oh, the drill. Oh, oh, oh! I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. It's just I so, think the point is it's just like it's not. So yeah, you're saying easy. like what what does it give you then if you do use the drill? Well, um, the examples I was reading about was for astronium, which, you know, we already know is kind of, it's, it's useless yeah. right now, but it gives you a lot of research. Was there anything, like, attached to that surface? Yeah, it was, uh, like, lithium. Lithium. Oh, so it's just a big lithium core. I got you now. I mean, we found lithium without, um, we found lithium without being inside this block. Yeah. Which actually leads me to wonder is like is there um, is there more stuff on, is there stuff on inside that that you, have, that you can only get for drilling? I wonder. That would be cool. We should probably uh, try that. We could try that. Yeah, we could do that real quick. Um, um, well, we have to build build a drill. Well, let's see um, what that entails. Like if if it requires us to take a. Um, and then what do we put the drill head on? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't. Tungsten carbid. Eh. Let's just let's just go to another planet. We I want to do that later. It's, I think yeah. you have to attach it to a. It's um, too much work right now. Agreed. I'm just. Yeah. I'm. Just, 
Oh, why there are so much more of these jerk purple things? <laughs> Jerks. The jerk, jerk, I call, I'm calling them jerk shrooms. And jerk shrooms, okay. Because they're jerks. I mean, yeah. a better name would be like, what are those? What are those fish with the lights that um, you know, they lure you in? <laughs> I thought that, like, when I first saw them, I thought they were like man-made, um, like like other astroneers left them behind as like yeah, a yeah. navigational tool. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I, I that seems reasonable, but uh, no, they're definitely they're just traps. They're just. Death traps is all. All right, I'm back at base actually. So I'm back um, too. I'm just uh, let me just drop off some lithium and then we can get going. All right, sounds good. Um, Let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I got a little bit of quartz for if we want to explore a little bit and put down some beacons. Actually, I'll grab a second piece of quartz. That's that's good thinking. I'll grab some Oops. too. Take that. Oh, you know what I need real quick is um, a canister. You lost your canister? So, yeah, somehow I don't have a canister anymore. So, that what does that take? I'm having a bug where it won't show me the ingredient that's needed to. I think make it's a canister. Compound. I can look it up real quick. Um, just queue up a little bit. Something on the fire for. The figurative research fire first. <laughs> right. Okay, this guy gives us three thousand bites. That's a good one. Uh, it's resin. Resin. Oh, we got that. We got resin. Um, yes, we do. Do we? Where is the resin? Do we not have resin? I could swear we did. Did we use it up already? We might have used yes. it up already. Uh, do you mine any resin? There was resin. On, I thought there was resin, resin underground. Wow. There was. We passed some. I don't think I mined any. Wow, that's... Okay, I guess we don't have resin. <laughs> that's fine. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Um, um, that research will run. I assume re the, like, the automated stuff still runs, even if we... Um... What happens if I put a little wind turbine on this here? This isn't powered by electricity. I don't think it'll do anything. <laughs> maybe it helps. Do we, do we want to get a storage thing on here, maybe? Uh... Yeah, we could, and we can bring stuff back. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Let me just see if we can clear one of these off real quick. What's the least? Here we go, this one. one. This one's almost empty. I got it. Uh, you find a place for that, I guess. Okay. Okay, ready okay, to go. I'm inside. Uh, enter. All right. Okay. How about you? How about you take off this time? Uh, I am. Off we go. I, I remember there was one problem where basically we had to like wait till a planet was in orbit before we could jump to the next one. Right. I'm hoping since we're on the moon, maybe we got a little range on us. Um, maybe. I, well, I guess out. we'll have to see. So, I'll so tell we're gonna you. So, we're going to skip Mars entirely, or whatever the red planet was. Okay, so... Kilmer, that's right. We called it Kilmer for Val Kilmer. Yeah, we did. We're not in range of any planets. We just left the range of the yellow planet. I'm going to... Maybe... I'm going to take us to Mars, or Kilmer, um, just so we get in range. Maybe I'm not going to land there. there. I just... We're just going to go in orbit. Um, okay, now let's see where Imagine we're... Imagine we get us closer to the yellow planet, right? Yeah, now we're in range of... Oh, how did we... We're still not in range. Really? It's just outside of orbit. Uh, um, okay, But don't whatever. worry, this blue planet might come into range in a moment. Well, that's choosy, really. I wish I could see what you see. Yeah, there's a blue planet. Uh, it's starting to enter our radius. Exotic. Okay, that's where we're going to. Oh, how fancy. Yeah, I'm excited. Looks exotic. Ooh, doesn't it? Wow, look at that. It's like Actually. the <laughs> It's like the vacation planet. Okay. 
Nice. What's that planet in Star Trek? Um, shoot, I forget. That everyone goes to on vacation. Mm, I'll think of it. Um, I, uh, okay, I, I don't let's... really watch Star Trek. I've never actually seen Star Trek. I've seen like maybe like one episode. Let's land... Let's land over here. Ooh, look at all that green. Yeah, that's. I wanted to land near the green area a little. Oh my god, are those. Oh, I thought those were. I thought that was like tree and foliage, but it's just. Um... Risa is the name of the planet in Star Trek. Huh. Risa. Oh, Risa. No, not Risa, Risa, I think it's. Also, pronounced. there's a gigantic hole right here. I know, wow. Careful. Okay, this is, uh, this is, um, kind of We should probably cover that up. I'm gonna cover that up. Is this, like, are these glitches, or is this how it No, I think be? this is a legit hole. Yeah, I think it is. This is kind of this... crazy, uh, land formations here. Very interesting. Okay, there we go. Covered, I covered up part of the hole, so, like, we can still go down there if we want, but I just don't want us to fall in, like, so early into our exploration. Yeah. All right, I see a piece of wreckage already over here. Let's see what it's. Ooh, this is, this is weird. About. There's this bush that has research samples on yeah, it. Yeah, I, I saw that. Here, let me give you. Let me get. Let me get you some oxygen. Growing on trees. It's like berries, almost. You know. <laughs> Picking research off the vine. Basically, yeah. Here you go. No, oh, thank you. I'm not gonna You're... put too many down. You know, I I think literally the spiel of this plant is the fact that there's different levels of surf. Yeah. yeah. Or different. Well, it layers, has. I guess. It, it's like honeycombed. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Because if you think about like, um, really, really. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot dust storms were a thing. Uh, let's hurry up. We better run back to our shuttle. <laughs> Uh, and let me know if you see any like objects flying around because I I didn't see them on uh, on Mars. Well, last the, well time. the difference was on Mars like it was part of the natural terrain. Yeah, I know. This one I think like maybe it's different because like it's from windstorms. It's very green. Very I green really hope this place. planet doesn't become like the last recording was this cave was a mistake. This, this, <laughs> this one will be this planet was a was mistake. A mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's yeah. green, though. I know, yeah, it's... <laughs> makes me think it's, like, poisonous. You know, that actually wouldn't surprise me if this is, like, a yeah. poisonous planet. But, I mean, with, you know, we're in space suits, right? I mean, we're, we have like, like space suits helped us at all with, like, the pumpkins and yeah, the mushrooms. Yeah, that's a good point. How come those poison us? Aren't, isn't that the whole point of having environmental suits? With their own oxygen supply. I mean, maybe it's not gas. Maybe it's like poison gas. Like it's like deteriorating or deteriorating our suits. Yeah, like it's eating away at it. Yeah, so house. it's not that we're all suffocating. Well, we are suffocating, but not because of the gas, but because like there's holes in our our suits. It could be. It could be. Yeah. Yeah. We, <laughs> the astroneer team needs us to think of reasons for. I mean, remember we were talking Why about things like, are the way they are. Remember we were talking about like how there's no plot. Oh boy, I can't believe I didn't die. Did you really die? No, I didn't die. But no. I feel like oh yeah, I you walked. I, walked it wasn't. Cliff. Yeah, it, it it took me by surprise. It wasn't as tall as I thought it was though. Um. Okay. All right. Do you wanna? Do you want to explore? Or do you want to go see the yellow planet? Do like a quick, like world tour. World tour. In a minute, system. I just want to. I want to climb to the top of this hill. Okay. I'm just kind of. I want to like get a bird's eye view of this place. Do you want to put go. tethers along the way? Yeah, grab our tethers. We don't need. We can. I'll grab them. Yeah. Yeah. Like I have. I have extra compound, but I want to just. Conserve in case we find something really interesting on the next planet. Oh, this is this is nice. Yeah, this good is view. a nice chill hill. 
mean, there's... It's just, like... It's like the feel of being on top of a mountain, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's some zinc ore here. I don't know if we want that. Um... Yeah, why not? Uh, I should probably get some oxygen first, but I got I grabbed a little bit. I'm br building some tethers up your way. Oh, perfect. How did you walk up here? It's so steep. Patience. Well, I didn't go up this part. That's part of the reason. Oh, what, what, what way did you go up? Uh, I figured it out. Thank you. All right. Oh, it's like a plateau up here. Right? Yeah, it's just like It's like the top of a mountain. Also, the floor is still really um, thin. Yeah, there, I mean, it, there's just like... What the fuck? Hang on a second. There might be some graphical glitches. It's like hard to tell with this planet. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to be or not. I mean, some parts of this are very evident. That it's, it's like there's a floating layer of land that's just hovering above everything and some of it is starting to render in as I move around so I think yeah I think it's a little glitchy yep I think the the planet is meant to have like really big caves though yeah I agree uh oh okay, crap where's our I... tether line back here where 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 look where I I'm am suffocating oh no Walk toward me, Todd. I am. Oh, I'm gonna get, make it in time. Just barely. Whew, that was a close call. Alright, okay. let's check out the yellow planet. Yeah, I'm done here. Let's get... Well... Mm. I'll take these uh, tethers with don't, you. Don't, don't take them quite yet. I'm still here. Um, uh, I, I was saying when you come back, take them with you. There's like, I'm a little short of a stack of zinc, and I'm like, uh, I want to fill it up, but I don't see anywhere uh, yeah. around. Uh Okay, fuck this. Let's get going. This isn't worth it. Um I'm on, I'm on my way back. I assume you're grabbing the tethers. Uh you you grab them since you're coming back that way. Uh, I'm did just you fall? By I'm already back. Okay. So just yeah, just grab them. I wish there was a better way to pack up tethers. There is, just uh, um, highlight them and press E. That just opens up my... Um... Or I, I guess you still click them, but press E. Oh, So okay. you don't have to manually... And, and they, they go into a bundle. Right. So you don't okay. have to open up your thingy. Okay, let's go. Alrighty. Um... One more planet. Alright, take us off. Oh, sweet. Okay, I can do it. Yeah, it's, the, it's always the first person that enters that has... That's the pilot, you know? I mean, you can do it too. No, I can't. I don't have an option. Really? Yeah. Huh. So that was a tropical planet. So, uh, we should be in range of that other blue planet and the yellow planet, right? No, we're not. Oh, but it's just oh, right. coming in the range. It's like within seconds. Which one? The yellow, the yellow one, I think. Okay. I think there's one more red planet after that. Is there like a red and purple planet or something? Well, the yellow one's radiated. Ooh, that's fun. I think I think that's the one with all the astronium on the surface. Oh, okay. It's probably the most dangerous, too. <laughs> it's the most dangerous and has a resource that's like useless to us right now well I mean it's yeah I guess that's true well we're I guess what we're, we're gonna find out let's see where is a good spot to land so part of me wants to pick like the least opportune location but the other part of me is like okay don't be an idiot Chuck <laughs> uh, let's do this is a good spot. This is.
do the planets sometimes change orbits? Because, like, I feel like we've been on the red one, but that's, like, the furthest away. Um, well, Holy I mean... Holy shit. Oh, that, that looks... That looks scary. What's the thing in Star Wars that, you know, um... There's a lot uh, of wind. That's cool. Hey, Todd. Uh, the, the Sarlacc pit, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It looks just like that. Hey, Todd, jump in there. Uh, you, you first. Okay. I'll, be, I'll, I'll come in right behind you. Nah, no, nah, no, it's not too bad. Can I... Oh, look, I can't even, like, dig around it. Uh, I, I'm trying to, like, move my camera so I can see inside. Todd, don't fall in. I mean, it's literally the most stereotypical thing that can happen. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much a no-go right there. This I mean, is a, maybe when we set up a base proper, we, someone can... Someone can sacrifice themselves. Take, take, take the hit. Oh, look, we got um, pumpkins on the surface. Yeah, I kind of figured something like that would happen. That's fun. There's a big piece oh of wreckage God, over this I way. So oh, and here. and you're right. Here's a shronium on the surface. See that? Yeah, I see it. Use a drill head here. Although, hey, look at this. What is that? How'd you do that? Uh, inhibitor mod. Oh, the inhibitor mod lets you do that. I mean, huh. once again, it won't let me go under. It won't let me dig in, unfortunately. But wow! Hey, look at this! You got the rocket I found earlier. You want it? Ta-da! Right. We did it! We got a stronium. I mean, we had a stronium, but whatever. Woo Oops! I need some oxygen. Let's see if I can get a stack at least of this stuff. Stack of Asheronium. Yeah, I'm a little short of a stack, so I'm hoping that like if I fish around a little bit I can get a little bit off the edge. Yeah, here here um, we go. I'm looking up Astronium again. Maybe maybe there's been maybe. news like they're gonna use it for something. Um Yeah, nothing new. <sighs> I, I suspect there'll be something like at the end of the game. Or like in the 1.0 release. Still in the 1.0, yeah. Huh. Alright, let's see if there's anything good in this thing. Um, not really. It seems like just ma this planet is permanently windy. You know so? Windy? It doesn't feel windy to me. But my guy's always like in a, pr in a state of like walking against the wind. I guess I do see little wind things or something, yeah. Oh, I'm out of tethers. I didn't um, notice it earlier. Uh, graphite and... Tungsten, nothing exciting. I wonder what the caves are like in here. There's one right over this way. Yeah, give me a second, I'm just making some tethers. Yeah, let's... Oh, I already regret this. Take a quick peek. I'm guessing there'll be like unique things besides just the usual shrooms. I hope so. I'm getting pretty sick of just seeing the same shrooms over and over again. The same shrooms. Yeah. I need new shrooms. Also, I, d I didn't notice until just now, but the gravity's um, a bit less here. Isn't it? It's heavier or lighter? Less lighter. So I guess it's a smaller planet. I mean, yeah, not compared to the moon, but. Uh, uh yeah. To the blue planet. Uh, hmm. <laughs> so many mushrooms. I need to get oxygen. I don't have an oxygen tank, so I can't last very long. Don't you have some tethers you can set up? Nope, I don't have compound. I didn't I, prepare. You, you should have taken my tethers, I mean. Oh, I, I do have two tethers. So, it's better than nothing. Well... Oh, I hear I mean, a dust storm. Maybe, I don't know, do we, how far do we want to go? I, don't, I think this is as deep as we can I go. Think, I think that's good for now. Yeah. Probably want to so. take it. 
uh, call it here and then decide our next course of action. Here, do you want to, I guess I'll just grab the tethers. Now that we've, uh, now that we've, uh, done our exploring. Huh. I hear a dust storm. I'm I know, it. I'm looking for it too. I guess it Oh, is. I see it now. Is it coming toward us? I don't think so. I think it's kind of going perpendicular to us. Okay. Well, let's go. It looks scary. It looks different than most other dust storms. It's like a big oh, monster. Oh, God. Yeah, that looks dangerous. That looks bad. That looks, really <laughs> looks bad. scary. Yikes. It's like Cthulhu. I mean, with the growling of the um, worms, like it's yeah. pretty scary. It is getting closer. I'll say that. Get in, get so in the ship. Get in the ship. I, I need to get our tethers. It's like no no no, no, no leave the tethers. Are, it's like the in the movies. The tethers are not worth it, Todd. The tethers are not worth it. It's like in the movies where like someone says, "No, I have to go back and get my research." <laughs> uh, let's let's just see what happens. I want to I want to see me survive yeah. this. Actually, no. Let's let's literally end the recording with us being hit by the storm. <laughs> I kind of yeah, want to do it. Oh boy. Okay, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> see, see if, <laughs> if we, we live. This. If we live. See ya.